Welcome back to Crossfire. Surprise, surprise, today President Obama is keeping his liberal elite base happy by trying to scare us with new reports on climate change. Hint, your power bills are going to go up. But in spite of the fact that the majority of Americans support it, the president still hasn't approved the Keystone Pipeline, which according to his own reports, isn't threatening the planet. What is? Just look at the answer to our Crossfire quiz. Cows, that's right, cows are responsible for releasing more greenhouse gases in a year than 25 million cars or burning a year's worth of oil in the Keystone Pipeline. Bill Nye and Nick Loris are our guests in the Crossfire. Bill, shouldn't we all just become vegetarians? Well, that actually, there's a lot of studies about that, but let's just do no, two no, no. things. No, 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 so, so, so it, that wouldn't would be that great. be a just good Just keep in mind, 25 policy? million cars is nothing. There's 25 million cars within... 10 kilometers of where we're sitting. And so that's not a Wouldn't very it be a good statistic. policy directive, though? Thank you for the distraction, though. To become vegetarian? Okay, yeah, that would be great. So here's, here's the thing. What's the NCAA we have to policy agree on the recommends? Facts. Here's the, the deal. Way. Here's what I want you guys to deal with, okay? I did this debate. Maybe you heard about it in Kentucky. They asked the guy, a member of the audience asked the guy, what would change your mind? What would change your mind about the evidence for the age of the earth? It's a very good analogy. What would change your minds? about the seriousness of 400 parts per million carbon dioxide, 450 parts per million. The credibility of a science model. So you don't, you don't accept it. Which White House changed. produces yeah, a report. Decades. Decades. It's it's changing, it's but, I mean, we've had this 16 to 17 year hiatus and warming that the that, climate well, models predicted was a point. No, it's, it's not disagree. though, because these climate models predicted a 0.3 degrees Celsius warming in this time period. So and there's, there's been 16 peer reviewed literature articles saying the climate sensitivity, what would happen with the doubling of CO2 in Do the atmosphere is much lower, but it's all Recent new research. Do you know how huge this economic cost is? So, Anthony, this is the answer. Well, we're actually I got a question. trying to Nothing talk about solutions. Nothing will change the guy's mind. But you just want to talk about how he doesn't believe you. Well, hold on. We're well, trying so, to address so, so here's let the get, solutions let me give, let me that we can all shot. The XL, the pipeline, that... What's wrong with that is we will never run out of fossil fuels. That's the bad news. There's no short. We, we will like never run out. Right. It's, it's well, very hey, bad news. Let, I was like, no, the models. You said you don't like the models. Yeah. I'm, giving you, the I'm, get, I'm giving you the, the benefit <laughs> of the doubt. Don't like the yeah. models. Yeah. How about the Pentagon? How about our, how yeah. about our generals? Yeah. The, the Pentagon says that climate disruption is a national security threat. And worse than that, they say it's a threat multiplier. It makes everything worse, including terrorism. Do you disagree with the Pentagon? I they do take disagree with the Pentagon. You yeah, absolutely. Pentagon. I mean, so do you think the greening of our Pentagon has been a huge problem. The biodiesel fuels that cost 10 times more than regular diesel. Well, hold on and a second. Not You're to mention the, the fact that the climate, climate is changing. Over time, you know, our Pentagon, the Department of Defense, is going to be able to adapt to these things in any type of national security efforts, humanitarian efforts. We're going to be so able to. Let, let, let me ask you a question. Not is to that mention, a DoD is a huge user, user of energy. So and, we're going to drive that, up the energy costs on them and take well, more away from their so budget by driving up their energy costs. Just let me I mean, get, all these things make it nonsensical for the DoD okay. to say that. So, Nick, it's a conspiracy After you, I got at the Pentagon. No, I'm not saying it's a conspiracy. I'm saying it's an attempt to get more money on these biofuels. Oh, my and things goodness. Like That's that. just terrible. First of it's all. It's just another government all, our, agency. It's the same can, thing. Can I have a, can yeah. just a moment here? You know, our military, people actually die trying to defend uh, supply lines to try to get uh, fossil fuels to the front lines. The investment our military is making in clean energy so we can have, actually have more security for our troops will save lives. It's very important that we respect that. It's, it's not some crazy concern. It's great for talk, talk radio. We're trying to save lives, number one. But number two, do you therefore think that the government should order our generals to stop preparing for, for climate disruption? This, the, the generals in, under George W. Bush are talking about this. Obama now has made it part of the climate assessment. Do you think that's wrong? Do you think that, that the government should order our generals to stand down and stop preparing for climate disruption? No, that, that's not my call to make. And I think if the national security threat, if they believe that it's a threat and they want to prepare for a climate disruption, they should have the, the authority to do so. But, at but the you same don't time, think they should, deep what? down. No, deep down, I don't think they should. And I think they will, they'll have the ability over time because the climate is changing over a slow period of time. I think, no, actually, I think, that's the I think the capabilities they'll have to deal with these efforts, as we're talking about, you know, an inch of sea level rise over a decade, I think that... No, they that, want you, you know, to believe that it's, it's it, within yeah, that a Manhattan day, will be the readiness will yeah, be yeah, within a day. Right. So here's yeah, yeah, the problem, yeah, yeah. you guys. Yeah, it's not that the switch. world, just everybody, Real quick, Bill. it's not that the world hasn't been warmer. It's not the world didn't have more carbon dioxide. It's the rate at which it's changing Good enough. that we cannot keep up. Well, we give the, the science guy the, the last word, we, but uh, we will be back. We want you to stay here. We want you at home to weigh in on today's fireback question. We've been debating it here. You get in on it. Is climate change a threat to America's national security? You can tweet yes or no using